hi everyone in today's video we will see how to create a different landing page for different users in oracle analytics so when they log into oracle dv this is the sort of landing page that you see now from here when you have to jump to oracle analytics for your classic reports you click on these three dots that you see on the top right corner and click open classic home so when you click on open classic home you navigate to classic reporting platform wherein you can use the power of rpd or other uh, ways wherein you built your analytical reports using the underlying data warehouse for an example okay so that's the difference between dv and classic reporting in dv it is primarily used for self service capabilities wherein the end users can also leverage the power of the platform by simply uploading the spreadsheet and start building their reporting from scratch whereas classic reporting is more to do with the type of analytical reports that the business would like to see wherein they would like to see trend analysis they would like to see certain uh, predictive analytics forecasting which which is basically derived on top of the huge volume of data that resides in your data mart or data lake or data warehouse now when you when you log into this when you log into this classic reporting uh, ui that is uh, basically slightly different from your dv visualization this is the sort of landing page that you see now if let's say if you have a requirement wherein you want to have this landing page to visible differently for different users based on the sort of application roles uh, that you give or you tag them to how how this can be achieved so in the world of obi this was possible using the portal path variable in the rpd now come with uh, oac the same functionality is there you still use the portal path but that functionality has been taken out of rpd and it is embedded in the oac console now how to do that so let's go to your oac dv go to console and we'll go to system settings in the system settings there are a lot of options one of the option is other where you see this portal path so in this portal path you have to give certain syntax which can be a standard uh, what you say a dashboard path if you give just a path of the dashboard all the users using the classic reporting will navigate to that uh, dashboard so that will be like a common landing page for all the users using the application but if a requirement is to have a different landing page based on the different application roles then that can also be achieved using this portal path option if you see in the description there is a syntax given here like a role 1 path 1 role 2 path 2 and then the default so what i am going to do i am going to use the same syntax and i'll demo how this can be achieved now for this demo purpose what i have done is i have created two users if you see uh, there is a user 1 and i have created a dummy custom application role us role so this is just a dummy application role and i have also tagged the seeded application roles to this user 1 that is the content author and dv content author so remember here user 1 is tagged to us uh, role as an application role and user 2 is tagged to uk role as an application role so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to use these two application roles us role and uk role and uh, we will see how the uh, functionality of portal path works so let's just copy paste here what i have done is i have basically used the same syntax that you see in the description here so uh, i'm using the us role and i'm giving a certain path of the dashboard so here it is uh, directing to sales by customer similarly for a uk role it is directing to sales by location and if a user is not assigned a us role or a uk role then the user will navigate to some default path that i have given now what is this sales by customer sales by location i will quickly uh, show you so what i have done is uh, in in the catalog let's go to dashboards i'll click on expand i have created two dashboard sales by customer sales by location if i click open on sales by customer if you see it is just giving some sales data for different customers like customer a b c d e similarly if i go back and click on sales by location then 
it will give me the sales data by location. Now, these two dashboards I have assigned to user one and user two indirectly through their application roles. So if I again go back to DV, any user that is back to US role should automatically direct uh, should automatically direct to sales by customer dashboard and any user that is assigned to UK role should automatically direct to sales by location dashboard. So once I have uh, given the portal path, if you see the message here change not yet applied. So what I need to do, I need to scroll to the top and click on apply. So wait while the changes are being applied. So generally this takes three to four minutes for the changes uh, to get applied. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a pause here and we'll be back once the changes are applied. All right, uh, once the changes are applied, what we need to do is now we will go and see whether the portal path that we have given, like for example, if I go back to my console and system settings and other, now what I will do is I'll log in using user one and user two and see whether for user one, which is tagged to US role and for US role, I have given sales by customer. So when user one logs in, I should automatically be navigated to sales by customer dashboard. So let's verify that I'll open a URL in a different browser and I will log in using user one. Now I'll go to classic home. If you see, it is automatically redirecting me to sales by customer dashboard. Now I will sign out and check for user two whether it is navigating to sales by location. So I'll sign out. And I will log in user two. I'll go to classic home. And if you see, it is navigating to sales by location. So this way you can use the portal path to set up a different landing page for different customers by giving them uh, different access to or by using different application roles. So the thing to remember here is portal path works by application role and not by users. So that is one thing you need to take care of. So hope you have enjoyed this short video. Uh, if you have any questions around it, please drop them in the comment section. Thank you.